So I was just driving over here for an early morning flight in Gillum, Louisiana. I'm meeting students in a little bit, and I was listening to the Cloud Based Mayhem podcast, and they were discussing competition, which they often do. Now, pros and cons to competition. All right, you learn a lot. You see what the guys who are really fast and uh, really good, what they do and how they do it. But there's some negatives to competition as well. And most of them fall into the mental aspects of competing. Now this is something that I'm familiar with, not so much in a flying sense, but at one point I was a semi-professional shooter, three gunner. I shot competitions all over the country. You know, big competitions, thousands of spectators, etc. TV cameras. What I learned personally from that is quite often it, it drains the love. I had this real love, this real passion for shooting. You know, just the art of being efficient with my movements, learning all the little nuances, trying to shave hundreds of a second. I was a gamer. I was constantly gaming, trying to think of the best move to get the course done quick and accurately. And what ultimately happened with all that is I became sort of focused on the competition, like doing well against the other competitors. I still like the shooting, but I found that it it drains some of the love from the sport by competing. Also, trying to do well puts something inside your mind that takes away from the focusing on the task at hand. For example, the best matches I ever shot, I usually had some sort of what I considered a major fumble on maybe the first or second stage of the match. Maybe I missed a target. Maybe I fumbled a reload or, or you know, wasted a second doing something. And I thought, well, now I'm down at the middle of the bottom of the pack. You know, there's no way I'm going to do well on this competition. So at that point, you know, I just went full out fast as I could, just smoke through the rest of the competition, not giving a crap about doing well. And I would win those. I would win first, second place sometimes by just, you know, thinking I messed up and then just focusing on shooting the match and having fun, running and gunning, man, just running and gunning, make a fumble, just, just smoke right on through it. And I was able to focus more on the skills. I kind of treated it as like a fast practice session because I thought there's no way I'm going to win. You know, I bombed that first stage. And then ultimately what I found was like the next eight or 10 stages I would do exceptionally well on. I kind of had this epiphany at a certain point after a couple of those like, dang, the ones where I'm really trying are the ones that I'm really failing at. And I decided that I would get out of the shooting competition because of that. Went straight to the to the hog killing and the shooting for fun again. The stuff that I grew up doing, the stuff that really grew my passion for doing that thing. And I feel like if I did paragliding competition, it might would do the same thing if I approached it from the mindset that I want to try to win. I want to try to do well. And when you're talking about, you know, shooting stages in a match or competition paragliding, I mean, competition paragliding, if you lose your focus on what you need to be doing because you're focused on something else like beating someone or winning or whatever, that could take away from a safety aspect. And, and you might make a move that is dangerous in a, a life threatening way. If I decide to make a move too low because I want to beat whoever's there with me, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a big competitor and there's a reason. And I don't, I don't want that to creep into my flying where I'm trying to compete. I'm often invited to do things like Icarus race or a spot landing competition, you know, some games. And frankly, I just refuse to play. I don't want to get in that situation where I'm comparing my skill to anyone else. I want to fly good, I want to fly safe, I want to make decisions that keep me healthy. And I don't want those thoughts to kind of creep into what I'm doing. I've avoided competition on purpose. I've avoided simple contest on purpose. Like, hey, let's see who can go the furthest today. Let's see who can stay up the longest. Let's do a foot drag competition. These are the things that might end up, you know, shooting myself in the foot because I'm trying to do something that's not focused on the flying or the task at hand. Now, I'm sure I could do them and, and I'm strong enough mentally now that I think I could do a competition and not let those kind of thoughts creep in. But even with a strong mind, sometimes they do. And sometimes those feelings can influence a decision that you make. 
or that I make. I'm speaking from a personal thing. I know there's a lot of you guys out there that do competitions and you learn from them and it's just a real joy and I understand. I've been there. I've had the joy from competing and it's great. It's a really good feeling, you know. You, you bring home some of that glory, you know. You see that you do well against all your peers and that gives you some confidence that your practice is paying off and you're doing well and that's fine. That's fine, but you can't let the competition mindset get in your head. You've got to just focus on the task. You know, I'm going to fly good and hit goal. If I do it fast, win, you know, but, but if you make a bad decision because of that, even one bad decision can put you in a weird spot, a bad spot, a tight spot. I just, it ain't for me. It ain't for me personally, and I don't want to get hung up in that. So I'm not signing up for a lot of competitions. I did. I did sign up for the Lone Star again. I, I did it last year and it was fun, but I never looked at it as I'm trying to win either. I wanted to go see what it was like, if I could learn anything. I certainly did. And I put in more miles in that one than I did probably all together, you know, flying, flying around here. But again, miles, that numbers, they come up. You start chasing numbers. I gotta do better. I gotta go further. I gotta go faster. When you start chasing numbers instead of just you know, chasing the sky, ultimately I think you lose. And I don't want to be a loser. I want to be a winner by not competing. I just thought I would make a little blurb about that, share my feelings on it. What do you guys think about competition? You know, you guys who do it, I mean, do you see any negatives to it? Do you see any positives? I, I mean, I, I can kind of see it from both sides, and, and I'm, not, I'm not digging on anybody who does it. Again, I feel like I could go sign up for a bunch of these paragliding competitions and be perfectly happy, learn a lot, and, and you know, do it, but it's not why I fly. I don't want any glory from this. I don't want, I don't want any trophies. I don't, I don't even care, you know, and that keeps me happier, much, much happier than winning or losing would ever do. So let me know how you feel in the comments below. I'm finna whip it in here and uh, it looks like we got low fog. So I might do a low fog flight. But I was listening to this and they were asking about how do you prepare for the competitions and such. And you know, I was just thinking, man, if I was doing a competition, there would be no preparation. I would just, I would just show up and fly, fly my day. and. You know, these guys are doing World Cups and X Alps races, and, and there is quite a bit of preparation that goes into those. They have teams of people that help them with weather and logistics and meeting them with food and things. I, I don't know, it's beyond me, it's beyond me. Much respect to you, Gavin McClurg, and all of you X Alps competitors for what you do, but it's not for Kylo, on me. Much respect to you, Gavin McClurg, and all of you X Alps competitors for what you do, but it's not for Kylo. Kylo just wants to fly. Oh man, we got some thick, dense fog out here in the River Valley. And that fog ultimately turned into a low cloud flight that was not one easily forgotten. Had a student there and his first flight at my school was above the clouds, Kumi's banging off, and it was amazing. So I'm going to save that portion of this video for the next one. I hope you guys liked it. Again, make your comments below about what you think about competition and you know, should you do it with flying and, and what do you think that does for decision making and the process. You know, it's a personal thing. There's no right or wrong answers here. I'm just curious what, uh, what you guys think who have done it or who may be thinking of doing it or if you've done competition at other things in your life and what you gleamed from that. Let me know. Thumb up the video if you liked it. Subscribe for more and uh, don't forget the bell in case you want to know when the next one comes out, which should be pretty good. That I'm going to get out of here. Much love, everybody. Kyle out.